Alrighty guys, another day's in the books here. We had all the indexes up on the day. The Russell up about 2%, NASDAQ up half a percent, the S&P went up 0.6, the Dow went up 0.7, and we had the VIX down yet again. What else is new? A quarter percent, and we had gold up about 0.6, as we had silver up around 1% percent and palantir which we're going to break down in this video will also break down in video later in the video palantir ended up going up around 0.6 percent after having a pretty strong start to the day we actually downtrended a lot of the day believe it or not and we still went up 11 cents 0.6 percent on the day so if y'all find value in this video all i ask is to hit that like button of course make sure to subscribe you might as well follow me on x as well at stocks talk stocks and check out my patreon and get up to 15 stocks for mumu of course if you guys want to those are linked down below and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into i almost dropped my freaking mug over here guys let's dive right into the video so again all the indexes went up today we had a nice green day beautiful green across the board obviously not for every stock out there we did have some red in certain stocks like let's see here um nvidia funny enough which we're going to break down later that ended up going down on the day today we had gamestop crowdstrike airbnb amazon actually went down on the day but for the most part we had a lot a lot of green today guys and the Russell really freaking nailed it today, hitting another high on the four hour. I believe that's a 52 week high as well for the Russell. So let's talk about Palantir. Then we'll break down NVIDIA here. I have to talk to you guys about NVIDIA, the charts very quickly on that stock. So Palantir saw a huge run in the morning. We were actually consolidating a bit in the pre market between. Uh, 17.90 to about 18 dollars. We were chopping around there for a good couple of hours. Then once the markets opened, you guys can see Palantir shot off like crazy. You can see we opened up at about 17.95, ran to about 18.20, so a 25 cent move in about 10 minutes. That was, let's see, percentage wise, about a one and a half percent move. And then we've been downtrending pretty much uh, since that point. Let me pull it up and show you guys here. Uh, yeah, lower lows, lower highs, all that, uh, all that for the rest of the day. But notice this very good sign for the bulls in the short term. I guess one thing, you know, good thing we could, uh, we could take out from today, guys, is the fact that we held the pre-market low during the day. You guys can see pre-market Palantir bottomed at about $17.85. And notice how that's pretty much where we triple bottomed throughout the course of today you know at about 12 15 on the east coast 120 and at about 155 that's where we you know bottomed at that point triple bottom and uh you know we we ended up consolidating there uh there pretty much for the rest of the day and notice here on the five day five minute guys we do have that head and shoulder still intact on palantir so keep that in mind and also we do have a descending triangle as well so let me draw this out and show you guys what I'm seeing. So we have this head and shoulders right here. Boom. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. You guys see that? And we also have this descending triangle that is, is essentially uh, the right shoulder in the head and shoulders. You guys see this as well right here. So we might have a little more downside. I don't know. The charts aren't for sure signaling towards uh, collapse right now. But we are noticing some signs. Again, the head and shoulders descending triangle. Uh, but we're not going to see a lot of, you know, a lot more downside until we break, I'd say, uh, 1775. Maybe at that point, we do start going down to the lows from a couple of days ago where we hit 17, 1725. Uh, but for now, guys, we're pretty much at 18 bucks on Palantir. And on the 20 day chart, you can see we're kind of sandwiched between the moving averages here. We're right there, guys, uh, trying to fight and pick direction at this point. And on the four hour chart, let's pull that up. Obviously, overall, we're still up massively from where we were um, a couple of months ago. You guys know that. No need to harp on that in this video. And we're still technically at the bottom of this channel. If I pull it up and draw it very quickly for those new viewers out there, we're still technically at the bottom of this channel right here. You guys see. Uh, so we have to wait and uh, kind of play it with some patience. And that's the thing with the stock market, guys, when you're trading, especially, man, you got to have patience. Sometimes it takes time for things to play out. And, you know, sometimes it happens the next day, 
but a lot of the time it takes longer than you think for it to play out and for it to pick direction, which in this case, again, I'm waiting to see what Palantir is going to do. Do we break out towards the top of this channel again? Uh, do we start breaking above 18, 1850, or do we dump and, and maybe start going towards 17 like I showed you on the smaller time frames and then start going under the channel on the four-hour chart, right? What direction are we going to pick? That's what I'm waiting for here on Palantir. So let's switch gears quickly to NVIDIA, NVDA, which is also at a very big spot. Uh, we can see here we have a wedge on NVIDIA. We do have uh, it, it testing support right now. I mean, you guys can see we're at the top of the wedge here. Let me draw it out. Uh, for you guys, so you can see, let's go, let's do that. There we go, guys. Looks like 520 bucks here is the high from the end of August, which I think the all-time high has not been hit yet. Actually, no, 520 has got to be the all-time high, right? Uh, yeah, 520 is the all-time high. So we've been in this wedge, if you will, uh, since really August, it seems like, right? August heading into September, we got ourselves in that wedge and now we're testing the top of it this 500 520 dollar uh range that's going to be a big big spot of resistance here moving forward for nvidia and we're already seeing it i mean guys today we had a green day across the board and again nvidia i mentioned this earlier in the video was one of the stocks that ended up going down today and we did see a lot of selling in the pre-market a lot of the selling pretty much all of it came in the pre-market uh, but during the day today, it wasn't much better, guys. I mean, we pretty much were under 490 for a majority of the day. Then we did rally a little bit at about 2, 230 on the East Coast, which is great. That's awesome. Uh, but still, we're under 500 bucks per share. And we got to break out of this point. You know, if we want to see that huge leg up, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to break out of this wedge. And some argue that NVIDIA is getting ready for another massive breakout after pretty good earnings. Good, you know, uh, what, what's the, uh, the term here? Estimates for the next two years. And after, you know, some months of consolidation, NVIDIA, believe it or not, guys, uh, has been pretty flat ever since it looks like here July. So about six months, five, six months of it being flat. So is it getting ready for a breakout? It looks like tech investor Paul Meeks actually thinks that it is. I'm not sure if you guys caught it, but he was on CNBC a couple of days ago. And to keep it short and simple and sweet here, guys, he still thinks NVIDIA's valuation based on uh, you know, the analyst expectations for 2024 and 2025 for EPS and revenue. He thinks that, well, it's still fairly valued. I don't think he said it's undervalued. That's kind of a crazy thing to say at this point. Isn't NVIDIA like a trillion dollar plus market cap and it's ran up five times over the past year? So I don't think he said it's undervalued, but I think he said people are essentially underestimating how much more growth this stock could have in terms of EPS and revenue, which then would be reflected in the stock price. So if these analysts are right, man, if these analysts are right, Paul Meeks thinks uh, there's a lot, a lot more upside left in the, uh, you know, in this particular stock. And I, I tend to agree with him, although I'm not necessarily a hundred percent convinced that Nvidia's valuation is justified right now. If they report a couple more quarters, man, where that growth is sustained, guidance is super strong, this could easily break out towards new all-time highs and have a pretty good 2024 and 2025, in my personal opinion. It's totally in the cards. Is it guaranteed? Obviously not. Nothing is guaranteed. But I think NVIDIA, man, after months of consolidation, pretty good earnings, it could be breaking out soon here unless we get some crazy devastating news. I don't know. Uh, but it looks pretty interesting heading into the end of the year and early or heading into the new year, uh, early 2024. It's going to be one worth watching, of course, as I'm sure all of you guys are already watching it. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Don't forget to get your 15 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Just simply use that link, open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks each up to $2,000. And guys, fund your account with at least $1,000 on top of those five stocks.
stocks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks each up to $2,000, guys. So get on it. Use that Momo link down below, and you might as well check out my Patreon as well if you want to be a part of the Discord, you want to see my charts throughout the day, and see every single move I make in my private Patreon portfolio. That's linked down below. Get in there, guys. You'll find value. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later.